Hello everybody, this is Terry Nance. I want to welcome you to 8 Minutes Strong with the Armor Bearer. I trust you're having a blessed day. I hope and just pray that what I share with you in these next few minutes will just touch your heart. Be sure and hit that subscribe button and join us and be a part of this. And then also go to GodsArmorBearer.com and you can get all my books and materials. And believe me, I believe they're going to bless your heart. Uh, you know, I've been talking about something that's very real in our world today, and it's the spirit of the Antichrist. Now, let me read this scripture to you. It's out of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, and it starts, uh, verse 1, uh, Paul's just saying, Now, brethren, concerning the coming of the Lord Jesus uh, and our gathering together with him, don't be shaken in mind. Don't be troubled by spirit or by word or by letter as from us as though the day of Christ has already come. And it says, because in that day, there's going to come first a falling away. And then the man of sin is going to be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposes and exalts himself above all. And that is called God or that is worship so that he sits in the temple as God, claiming himself that he is God. Now, when you hear that, that is talking about really the Antichrist himself, who is an individual more than likely alive on, on the earth today, getting ready to come into a political position. What we have to see is over in John, uh, 1 John, John said that spirit of Antichrist is already working in the world today. And you say, how do we spot that spirit of Antichrist? Well, first of all, it's a pride in appearance, it's pride in position, and it's pride in ability. Uh, you have to be very, very careful. You have to remember the ability that you have it came from God. You may have the most beautiful voice on this planet, or you may be able to play a, a, a music, uh, a guitar, piano, whatever, like no one can. But you've got to realize that gift came from God. And not only that, you're responsible for that gift. But what happens, people get into pride. No one's better than me. I don't, and, and you get into a spirit of competition. That's what brings you down. Now, uh, pride in appearance, uh, always have to look the best, always have to wear the best, always has, have to have the best. And before long, you are all full of pride based on your appearance. Uh, and, and you look down. You know, the only place you have to, when you feel like you're on the top of the world, is to look down over people. And you don't want to be that way. You've got to be free from that. Also, uh, it is an ambitious power. And it is lust for power. It's ambition. You know, we need to have ambition for Jesus. And that is, it's okay. Hey, I want to do something for God. You want to do something great for, for, for God. But it's this lust for power. I've got to have power. And we see that relevant in the earth today. Next is a concern for temporal things more than eternal. You're more interested in the things around you, the people who are serving you, the power you have over them, instead of realizing you're an eternal being and you're, you're just one breath away from eternity. And that right there is the most powerful thing on the earth. Uh, and, and then next is just a disregard for all laws. Uh, laws are made for someone else. They're not made for me. That's the spirit of an antichrist. Rebellion against authority. Then they're a deceived spirit. They're completely deceived in themselves. You know, it's really interesting. I'm not going to read these verses, but Philippians chapter 2, verse five through eight tells us the attitude of Jesus. I've quoted it. He said, let this mind be in you, which was in Christ Jesus, thought himself not robbery to be equal with God, but he made himself of no re reputation. He humbled himself, became uh, obedient to the cross, uh, became obedient into God, even the death of the cross. So humility, submission, and obedience, we see very clear was the attitude in the heart of Jesus. Well, when you look over at Lucifer and you go over to Isaiah chapter 14, five times Lucifer said, I will, 
I will, I will, I will be like the Most High. I will, I will. You can see the difference. But the end result is what I like to look at. The end result of Jesus was you're going to be lifted up. God's going to highly exalt you. But the, the end of Lucifer, you know what God said to him? When he said, I'll be like the Most High, he said, no, you're going to be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. That spirit of pride is what happens, and it brings people down. Attitude of Jesus is a spirit of lowliness, meekness, submission, humility, and obedience. Attitude of the Antichrist is the spirit of pride, lawlessness, rebellion, conceit, and selfishness. And it shows us and describes to us exactly what happens. So here's a scripture in 1 John chapter 2, verse 18 and 19. It says that they went out from us, that they were shown that they were not of us. In these days, as we draw closer to God, the glory of God, and the anointing of God, and in the lives of people, it's going to be increasingly revealed. But in the same way, it's going to be revealed in the negative, those who are in lawlessness, those who are in a spirit of pride, those who have an anti-Christ spirit. You know, I heard years ago, David Wilkerson prophesy and say, the day's here and it's coming that you'll no longer be able to walk on the fence post. You will be on one side or the other. Well, we're here. We know that Jesus is coming. So right now you say, well, Pastor Terry, what, what, what's the deal? Well, the Bible says, blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Well, the word mourn is not me grieving. The word mourn is an attitude of repentance. When I mourn, I repent for the way I've been and the way I've been doing. And I ask for God's grace to move on my life. And another aspect is trusting in yourself. And this is a tendency toward materialism, love of money, a lack of a meaningful prayer life, no desire to read the word, an inability to develop friendships, and no real commitment to God and church. And that is when we're backslidden. We're away from God. Away from God, we don't even realize it, that we're putting all our trust in ourselves that we can do it. And we have to repent of that. And I just pray that you will just go study uh, Philippians chapter 2. And study that about Jesus. Study Isaiah chapter 14 uh, about Lucifer. See the difference. And if any of that's in your life, just judge it and get it out today. God loves you. Let me pray for you. Father, I pray right now in the name of Jesus, the blessing of heaven upon the people. I thank you, Holy Spirit. We're not going to trust in ourselves, but we're going to put our trust in you. And I ask that you touch the people, everyone tuning in today, that their hearts, Father, will just get a revelation of humility. And we praise you for it in Jesus' name. Thank you for being a part of us today. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Go to GodsArmorBearer.com. Get all my books and material. Be blessed.